I wanted to I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with the new Sonic games, mainly focusing on the new voice actors. Oh yes. Uh, this is this is like I don't know month and a half, two month old news, but I don't care. Who cares? Uh, but yeah, uh, Jason Griffith is no longer voice uh, voicing uh, Sonic. So no more condom jokes. No more condom jokes. Damn. Though it would still be somewhat relevant because no one fucking cares. Yeah. Uh, now voicing Sonic is Robert Craig Smith, which, if you want to know some of his work, I think his most his most notable role was Chris Redfield in Resident Evil Five. Woo! I, I've never actually played Resident Evil Five. Uh, I've, I've, I've wa- I, I, I'm I'm more I more uh, watch people play Resident Evil than actually play Resident Evil myself. But. I've- Played uh, zero and four, and that's it. The so RE five is praised as having the best voice acting thus far in the series, and the least Resident Evil like gameplay. That's so, the problem. <laughs> well, the thing with four is that it managed to blend the shooter, the shooter type genre, with the uh, survival horror puzzle type genre that the series was originally known for. But uh, five just said, "Screw it, shoot people up, <laughs> take bitches out." Also, uh, Tails' voice actress has changed. Thank God, it's no longer uh, no talent Amy Palant. It is now Kate Higgins who voices Sakura in the English dub of Naruto. Here's hoping she can sound at least a little like a boy. I don't think that will be much of a problem because it will certainly be an improvement over Amy fucking Palant. Yeah. Well, I know, uh, I know, uh, Sakura's voice actor is one of the, you know, from what I've seen, she's one of the better ones, uh, you know, as of late. Yeah. In the series. I'd, I haven't followed Naruto since I was like 15, so. Damn, I. That was three years ago. All right, so moving on. Moving on. <laughs> You're fucking old. We get it. Uh, <laughs> what a, he's, a, he's a year older than me. Exactly. That's the joke. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> well, I have to say this because people obviously view your profile and ignore me entirely. So True. I make myself sad. <laughs> uh, Mike Pollock is still voicing Eggman. That's, that's good to hear. He... he he does brilliant job. I, I think even his O six was okay. That that's the thing. He did an okay job in a game of utter shit. Yes. So he he's pretty good at it. Yeah. But but even in O six, you could tell that he was off. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they. I, I'm wondering whether or not that was like the dialogue itself, or that they they just were rushing it, even with the translation. I, th- I, th- I think uh, I think when Hellfire Comms did their 06 playthrough, I think FTA said it best when he said that uh, you put one third on the script writer, you put one third on the voice actor, and you put one third on the voice director. That works. As, notice- far, as far as spreading the blame. You notice we reference Hellfire Comms a lot. Why? Because they're basically our role models for our video game playthroughs. <laughs> but we we try to be as witty as Ntom64 and fail spectacularly. Some of us more than others. Yes. I made myself, I made myself sad again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns has a release date of November 21st. I'm predicting they're going to push the boundaries with 120% completion. 120%. But you have to work at it. So it's more like 100% and then a shitload of effort to get 120%. Uh, I think they're still... I just think they're going to go with the traditional 101%. That would make more sense than just being oddball out there. I could go either way. Sure, you could. 
Anyway. Uh, I did not look up the expected release date for Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'm pretty sure Paladin knows it. Paladin would know. Paladin would tell us right away. I have at... to. I have to fucking look like an idiot. Uh, I'm. Lo- his, his Skype na- name is like Kirby fan numbers. Let's see if the Wikipedia, Wikipedia page has a release date because we can trust you know that. that. Oh, you know October seventeenth. October. Wow, that's close. That's really close. I might buy it. I'm not. You know, I'm not the biggest Kirby fan. I have played a couple games. Um, I saw the anime. The four I kids version. Unfortunately. Too bad. That was back before I had internet. <laughs> I didn't get internet until a year I moved out of my parents' house. No, more like six months and t- six months before I moved out of my parents' house. Because yeah, it, it was December, and then I got out like, then I left. Uh, right before June. Uh, anything else you can think of? Uh, way to put me on the spotlight, dude. Uh, oh, I got one. Uh, why the hell haven't we heard much about Kid Icarus Uprising since the E3 reveal? Because they're trying to be secretive, so that, you know, rather than posting absolutely everything at once, like what they screwed up with Brawl, they're gonna actually try and keep stuff hidden. <laughs> yes. Uh, Intrigue us. I could I could go on a tangent on how the reveal of Sonic before Brawl completely ruined what he did in the actual subspace emissary storyline. It's it's a difference between holy shit, there's Sonic and what the fuck? He took forever to get here. Yes. Or wait, don't tell me that's all he fucking does. I I can understand Sonic being late. That's that's the irony in his character. He's super fast, but is always late to everything. Everything like ever. Anyway, I, I'm tw- I, I want to see gameplay footage, but that's it. Yeah, I, w- I want to see how it's gonna. I want to see more about how it's gonna play on the 3DS. Because I think that's what they're waiting for: the 3DS to be released. That would be logical. English. I really I really don't see for some reason I really don't see it as a launch title. I'm thinking like between 4 and 6 months after launch. That that actually would make sense because it it is an obscure game that really, you know, it's one the original was one game really. Well, two if you count the one on Game Boy. Yeah. Which wasn't nearly as good. But, You're just uh, agreeing with me because you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I've never played the one. I didn't even know the one, the version existed for Game Boy. <laughs> only, only reason I knew Kid Icarus existed in the first place was uh, when Brawl was first announced. My cousin was like, "Dude, you gotta, dude, I can't wait for Brawl. It's gonna have Pit from Kid Icarus." I'm like, "What the hell?" So I looked it up, and then I uh, went to one of my other cousins' house who has a, an NES. And we played it, and it's fucking hard as balls. Because it's, it's on the NES. It 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 would rip Ninja Gaiden a new one. Yes, it would. I, I have nightmares. <laughs> Fucking pitfalls. That's why I'm never. That's why I'm never uh, a rogue in Dungeons and Dragons because I don't want to check for pitfalls. You know. Flash and for those and for those and for those of you that uh, have that go way over your head, it's over my head too because I'm not a D and D nerd, dude. I'm a nerd. If it's nerdy, I I like it. Like uh, I'm a sci-fi nerd. I'm a book nerd. I'm a video game nerd. I'm a Dungeons and Dragons nerd. I'm a comic book nerd. I'm an anime nerd. Um, and then you get into non-nerdy stuff. I'm a uh, I'm a gearhead. I like airplanes. I hike. The hiking oh. really had nothing to do with anything. But... Oh, you you stopped talking. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know you. You you wish it would last forever, wouldn't you? No. Oh. I meant the stop talking part. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, I think our rambling into different topics means that uh, we have absolutely run out of stuff in the video game category to talk about. Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, one last thing. 
why the hell are there still advertisements for the Clash of the Titans game in movie theaters? Wasn't that supposed to come out with the movie? I I heard it got like delayed, so it came out after the movie. I it's terrible. I just want to know why I have to sit through the freaking thing. You know, and it and it's you know, I the only uh the only thing that like redeems it is the fact that I get that immediately afterward I'm sitting through um a Metroid Other M trailer. <laughs> Dude, we need to buy a freaking movie theater, hook up a goddamn 360 or we play some of this shit. <laughs> In 3D, bitches. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> I even I even question that that's the direction we're fucking going with entertainment these days. It's just... <laughs> no. Well, the three. I like how Nintendo went the went with the accelerometer for the 3ds as opposed to the as as opposed to the uh, make you look like an 80s hipster 3D glasses. Don't all hipsters look like they're from the 80s? Uh, hipsters can be from any decade. No, I no, but I thought they just ran a consistent look. No. Uh-huh. Wait, are his, hipster hipsters are the ones with like the spray on tan and the duck lips and the no, they're the, they're the ones that hipsters like, like are like obscure. I made this stuff popular people. You are not. You cannot see it right now, but I have my hand covering my face. I don't know. You're 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 talking about social clicks. Something that I have never been uh, adept in. <laughs> Speaking of adepts, new Golden Sun game. I cannot wait. <laughs> For those of you who saw our A3 video, I freaking am excited. He went on for about. Two and a half minutes on the damn game. That was only beaten by the fact that I squealed at the new Kid Icarus game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man, I'm crazy. Craziness. All right, so I, I, I think I think we've officially run out of stuff to talk about. Yeah, I agree. Um, so <laughs> for this uh, somewhat video game blog... We have the keyword somewhat there. This has been JBizzle49. And Prometheus MFD. Egotistical son of a bitch. We'll see you later. (laughs) (laughs) Goodbye for now.